Hello and welcome. Today I'm doing house hacks for the ADHD person. These are things that work for me. I'm not saying they'll necessarily work for you. I mean, I hope that they do, but who knows? I do you want to preface for this video that I don't keep my place clean like this on my own always? I think transparency is like a really key thing for me as a creator. Yeah. If I didn't have help and if I didn't seek accommodations, my place would look really bad. Um, and it still doesn't look perfect. And so I had somebody here two days ago that helped me clean. I have kept it somewhat tidy, but you'll see there are things that are not perfect. And I've intentionally not touched anything or tried to make it look better for this video. Uh, this is very much just how my place looks right now. And so I thought you would prefer to just see, you know, what an average week my place might look like keeping in mind that someone does help me so i guess that's all let's get uh, right into this tour let's go okay so this is my front door here right at the front of my place i live in a uh, downstairs basement suite but it's above ground so i get the nice full windows which are beautiful my first hack is this boy so essentially on these hooks I have everything I would need to leave my place. The big important one is keys. And then I have two fanny packs. I get to pick which outfit vibes with which. And then the other thing I have is my dog's sweater because he is a baby and doesn't like to go outside without his sweater on. In these baskets here, these are all my dog things that I need to grab really quick. You'll see there's a really gross towel here that needs to be washed. Uh, yeah, that lives there. <laughs> but his collar, his harness, his treats, his um buzz collar all of these things live here because i don't want to forget them and so they stay there so that when i have to leave the place i can grab them and remember them my next hack for my adhd house is i have an option for smell in every single room every single room and not only smell but also sound this is my alexa say hi alexa hi for me Music and nice smelling things are essential, and so I use essential oils. Every morning I turn this on. It's conveniently right next to my coffee machine and my milk frother so that I don't forget to set my essential oils up and make my place smell really nice, which puts me in a better mood. What I want to show you here, though, is my vacuum lives here because I need to see it to be reminded to use it. Vacuum, broom, too much garbage. Another thing to know, I try to have dim lighting in every single room that I have. So I have like Christmas lights in here currently. In my kitchen, I have these stringed lights that are a lot warmer in person. For whatever reason on camera, they're a bit cooler. But do you want to see the alternative? Oh my God. Disgusting. But the other thing I wanted to show you is that even in here, I have a scent and a sound sense available to me. So I have a different Amazon Alexa. Say hi. Hi there. So I can listen to music while I'm having a shower. Also in my shower, it's a little dark, is eucalyptus because it makes it smell really nice in here and it makes me want to be in here. Because otherwise maybe I'd avoid showering, which I used to do. Okay. This is something I got for my place as an accommodation for myself. When I really need to do something, I put it on the board. Let's just think of something together that I really need to do. Done. This is my main living space. Come on, I'll show you around. So you'll see that it's the same vibes in here. There's a lot of dim lighting, low lighting. My uh, ring light is on because I was just filming my intro. Um, but I also just have really chill lighting in here. Never do I ever turn these on. No. Look how cute he is. Look how cute he is. Also, him. So many cute. But I've got things like Baby Yoda. You turn this on, it melts the wax, it smells delicious. I have a candle immediately here that I can light. And I also have another Amazon Alexa. Say hi. Hello. And so I can play playlists and say play everywhere and throughout my place there's music playing, which is amazing. This is my bedroom. Yes, I got a princess bed because I wanted one. And I'm an adult now and nobody can tell me otherwise. So this is where I do my hair, my makeup, pick my jewelry and pick my glasses. It was really important for me to have a set space to get ready and it needed to be comfortable. I needed to be able to sit down because if I stood up, I would rush through it versus like intentionally taking my time getting ready in the morning. And so this space became you know, essential for my self care, to be honest. Now, there are a couple things you might notice with this desk. First off, it is very messy, but it's intentionally messy. So for example, my deodorant always lives out here so that I remember to put it on. Cause I, if it's away in a drawer, 
Fuck that, I'm not remembering to put it on. All of my skincare lives here because if I don't see it, I will forget it. So it lives there. I also leave convenient cleaning supplies or things that I, you know, need more frequently. So this spray for myself, it's an antibacterial fabric spray. And I like to use it on my bed and also on my couch and on my chairs that live out there. But right now it's in here and soon it will live out there because I will pick this up, spray in here, go spray in there and put it out there and then it will transfer between this room and that room. Now the big thing for my bed is I wanted this to be a space that I can decompress in and be really comfortable in. Um, and so I ordered this. To be honest, I am working on fulfilling my inner child a little bit more. And this does it. I've got glow in the dark stars on the ceiling so when I sleep I can look at them. It's the best thing ever, but if I'm sleeping I'm not looking at them. I meant when I'm lying awake in bed and having existential crises, then I look at the stars in my sky. Um, the other thing about this desk is I organize mine based on use, not function. So you'll see there's random shit in here, but this is all my daily makeup. Everything I use is in here. Um, everything I need in a day is in this top drawer. If I'm feeling funky, we can go to drawer two. We don't talk about that. I also have a trampoline. I also have a piano. Oh, nice. I also have a massive pile of dirty clothes that can't fit in my laundry basket outside, so they live here until I do all the laundry in the laundry basket. <gasps> and so really, that's, that's it. That's my place. There's definitely a few ADHD hacks in there that I hope that can help you out. Um, I know that there are some that I'm probably not even thinking about. I don't even realize some of the hacks that I use for myself until somebody else points out like, hey, that's a weird thing that you're doing. And I'm like, oh, that's to accommodate myself. <laughs> can't believe I do that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Mwah. Bye!